Hello, in the video coming up, I will show you how you can now share your recent photos that you've done on your Android phone with your Chromebook. So this new feature is available from Chrome OS 103. So if you've got Chrome OS 103, you'll be able to use this. If not, you'll have to wait until you get that update. And it's, it's a really cool feature. So at the moment, if you wanted to share photos from your, your phone, for example, the best way is to use nearby share and that works fine. Sometimes it works really fast. Other times it's not so fast for da downloading, transferring the files. Not too sure why that is. It seems very intermittent, but this new feature well, they, what it will do, and I've not actually used this yet, so I'm showing you as I use it. So I've not used it to see how it should work, how it works. But what it should do, it should make it much easier to use your recent photos from your phone. So what I'll do is I've got my phone here. So I'll just get my phone ready. So I've got my phone here, um, my Pixel phone. And what I will do now is first of all, down here, if you click on here, I've not actually got Hub set up on this specific Chromebook yet, so I'll do that. So it's simply just click get started. And it's already connected my Google Pixel 4a, it knows that that's linked to this Google account, so that's fine. And here you'll see that it's done. So these are the basic ones that we had anyway. So you've got locate phone, so if for example I wanted to, if I thought I'd lost my phone, I could click that. And that would make my phone click, it would ring, which is pretty cool. And then you've got silence phone. Now this is really good as well because if say you're in a meeting, a video meeting for example, and, and your phone rings and it's not close to where you want it to be and you want to get it turned off, you can simply click that and that will silence your phone, which is really good. And you've got enable hotspot as well so you can use your Wi-Fi from your phone. But the reason for this video is this new feature here, and you'll see here, view your phone's recent photos, media, and notifications on your Chromebook. So simply click Setup, and then here, be more productive when you connect your phone to your Chromebook, view your phone's recent photos and media, and it's got here, make sure your phone is nearby, unlocked, and has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. So I have got that on, let me just get rid of these notifications. So I have got that all switched on, so that's all fine. So then just click on next on here. I'm using the wrong mouse. Click on next here. And it's got finished settings, you've got your phone. Go to your phone to review a few more permissions. Make sure your phone's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on, like we already said. So on my phone, you will see that it's comes up with that there and you simply click allow, and then your phone and Chromebook are connected. Then click done, and that should be it. So if we close this down now, now what will happen is, if you go down here to tote, oh no, it's, it's, it's not tote, so I, I, it doesn't use tote, you just go back to the phone hub. So you go back to the phone hub there, and these are photos I took earlier. I was doing um, an article about NVIDIA coming to GeForce Now. So here, they don't download the photos, they just show them. And you saw how quick they've showed them. So it showed the last four photos. So if I wanted to, I should just be able to click on that. And there we go, it's downloaded there into Tote. Click on that. Uh, you see it's downloading. It's quite a big image if I'm being honest with you. So it's taking some time. So you can see it's going round. And it shouldn't take much longer. And there we go. Now if we open that up, just double click. And that's the photo I took earlier, which is really cool. So that removes the situation of having, I'll just show you again here. So it's got them four there. And if we go to, downloads, it should just show in your downloads folder, 
which it does there. So it also downloads it into your downloads folder, which is fine. But as I says, it doesn't, won't necessarily download them straight away. You can choose to, which is, to, which is good because you wouldn't want necessarily them all to download. It just gives you a list of the last photos you've taken. So say for example, now, if I took a photo right now, um, camera, and I'll just take a photo of what we're doing. See how long that takes to come up. We might have to minimize the window and bring it back up again. No, we didn't even have to minimize the window. And there it is, look. So that's really cool. It shows you the recent last four. So it, 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 it's, it's, it's a really good new feature. It removes having to use Nearby Shed, because Nearby Shed, don't get me wrong, is really good now, and it, it have made it more seamless. But you still have to go to your phone, for example, find the photos and click on share and then click nearby share. This just puts on there. So for me, I can see the advantages straight away. I can just take photos and I can go on here and download them. And I'm sure there's many people who can see how this can be an advantage for them to add this. So it's really good. It's basically trying to get Chrome OS more like Apple, whereas Apple, it just syncs everything streams with each other when you've got your iPhone and your Apple computer. And that's what Chrome OS are trying to do. They're trying to get your Chromebook and your Android phone to work seamlessly with each other. So I, I, I personally think that's a really great new feature. I hope you liked this video. If you did, Please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching.